All right, here we go. Great to be with you again. We are ready for tip between Bridgeport Prep and Rock Top Academy. Rock Top wins the tip. It's EJ Greer off the mark on the first. So it's going to stay here with Rock Top. Bri uh, Bridgeport Prep is in the white. Rock Top is in black. And this is our final matchup of the day, Barry Grant. It's a somber, somber time. Listen, it's been fun, man. We've, we've had a lot of good games. We've seen a lot of great talent, great head coaching on, on, on you know, with all the with all the teams, man. It's been a, it's been a really, really good, um, good tournament. It has been a really great tournament. Ryan Archie stolen away by Bridgeport. Can't put it back. Underneath, right there, and throwing it down. The big guy, seven foot three, Mathok Mayok. That's a big guy, Mike. That is a big, large man, seven foot three from South Sudan. He is easily the biggest player we've had in the tournament. And I, you know, I've always just been curious of this. I mean, how do you even, how do you move around on the court when there's a guy that big that can cover that much ground so quickly? No idea. But the scariest part about him, Mike, is that he's a junior. <laughs> so he still has got to grow another two inches. Yeah. Nice shot by EJ Greer gets Rock Top on the board. So this is Elijah Lovelace here for Bridgeport. Underneath, that is Isaac Moncati from the Congo. So Moncati, a six foot 10 forward from Congo. He's a junior here at Bridgeport Prep. And he misses the first free throw. Off the mark. It's picked up here by Hermes Pappas, who we haven't seen in the first two games, but getting some run here. Is the big seven foot three big man right there in the middle. So here's Greer. Pappas. Pump fake. Pappas thought about it again. Here's Lovelace with the steal, the lay-in, good. Elijah Lovelace with the lay-in. New Pop York native, Elijah. Pappas is having some difficulty handling the ball with the press. Archie, here's EJ. Underneath, it's green. Archie, a double-teamed three-pointer, no good, and it's pulled down by Mayo. Stolen, Pappas. Right-handed layup, and good. Hermes Pappas gets on the board for Rock Top. Way to make up for that, man. Way to make up for those two turnovers. That's basketball. You can be able to redeem yourself. Moncati with the lob. Kandugi on the receiving end. Greer, shot from outside, the three. Rolls around, can't put it in. That's Marcelin. I'm hit the three. Yeah, all better. I'm hit the three. Give me another. Rock top coach got hit in the head with the ball. <laughs> and he's saying, yeah, you know, you could have just passed it to me. It's rock top. That's Marco Keppo. He's back in the game. Shot by Archie Fader. He has, he has been super impressive in this tournament. He has a nice shot. A nice jump shot. Good balance. Great release. Good follow through. 
Here's Deshaun Davis. Just a D1 talent. Moncati just missing. In and out. Rebound by Greer. Archie. By the back. Gets inside, finishes, no good. He went right at my oak right there with no fear. Came up limping. And the slam, another alley-oop there. This time it's Moncati on the receiving end. So one takeaway can I take away, uh, can I say from this Bridgeport prep team? Yeah. Super athletic. Super athletic. Keppo driving, kicks outside, Marcelin. A good look at the basket, no good. Pulled down by Myok. Driving is Davis. Underneath, Mokati. All right, so I guess Bridgeport prep is Lob City? If you got a guy that's 7-3, yeah. Why not? I mean, even the forwards are making are getting it done. Kandugi and Moncati both on the receiving end of a lob today already. Very athletic team. So Kandugi comes out as well as Jashon Davis. And we will see Drew Heinrich in the game as well as Demian File. Here's Vile. Kicks outside. Heinrich. Lovelace. Inside. Myoke. The shot. Vile off the mark. And over the backboard. And it will go by way of Rock Top. EJ. Shot there by Vidal, uh, Vidal, no good. Going for another lob there for Mayog, and it's just off the mark. I mean, my goodness. Marcelin and Vidal are taken out. And it'll be Harbeck and Charlo checking in. Here's EJ. Bang, EJ Greer, still doing it even in game three. Myok, the fader, shot. off the mark. Keppo, nice behind the back, going right at Myok. Nothing there. All right, Rock Top is not showing fear going on the inside, going right at Myoke, who has been camped underneath the rim pretty much the whole game, it looks like. Moncati is checked out. They bring in Joshua Santiago. Charlo underneath, Archie. It'll be off the knee of Bridgeport, and it will stay here with Rock Top. Screen, get it to EJ, Good pass. wow, nice pass, Greer doesn't get the roll, but a foul. And they are gonna call Damian Vial. Charlo makes the first. Lovelace. Heinrich. Nice move. Ripped away. Keppo trying to catch up get to it. it. Get Can't. And it'll go out of bounds. The pass just a little bit too much. Put a little bit too much sauce on that pass. Just a little bit. Myok. Double teamed, Lovelace, Heinrich, swinging it around in the corner for a three, no good there from Santiago. Greer, 
Jumper, good. EJ Greer knocking down the jumper. It is 12-8 with Rock Top on top. Greer with the steal. And there's going to be a foul again on Vial. So it looks like it'll be Greer taking it out for Rock Top. Damian Vial already has two personals. We've seen this team. This is the third time we've seen this team, Mike, and they they are always sound. They know what they want to do. They know where their shots are coming from. And okay, here's Greer. Greer is hot. EJ Greer feeling it on this one. Go get him! Go get him! Just as get an up. effortless shot. Get effortless. He's here! He's here! Shot from three from Heinrich. No good. Myok. Turnover. Turnover. Fine Greer. Greer and off hey, the stay mark. Here, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Up up. Up up. Get back. Heinrich. Good move. Left hand. Nice finish there by Drew Heinrich. Harbeck. Greer. They're doubling. Archie, open for three. Bang! Well, you can't forget about him. Ryan Archie from three. Amazing. And there's a travel, and it looks like here comes Rock Top now. I mean, listen, this is a team that has played. This is their third game in the tournament. They play hard, man. And so far... It looks like this is the cleanest they've played in the tournament. Maybe finally finding what exactly works. Well, they Here's have, Ryan Archie. They have certain advantages in certain positions, Mike. Especially a point guard. Charlotte. No. Makati. Kanduki. Vial. Inside Santiago and one. in and one. Joshua Santiago with the finish and the foul. And Daniel Charlo will get called for the foul and he'll go to the line for one more. A chance to narrow this lead down to five for Rock Top. Harbeck is checked out and Tyler Roberts is checked in for Rock Top. Off the mark on the free throw. Archie. Here's EJ Greer. Kicks outside. Keppo. Be patient. Make something happen. There you go. Archie missing. Just off on the on the layup. Santiago. Lost the handle. Balls on the ground. Recovered by Kandugi. Outside. Heinrich. Off the mark, offensive board. Back, easy left-handed finish by Drew Heinrich. It's a great pass. Hey. Left-handed, no good. And EJ, wow. Physical play, that's gonna be the end of the first quarter. So, all right, a physical game right now, right? Gonna be... Are you? Are we sure it's 18-12? I think it's 18 Because that's what I think, too. I think it's 18-14, but I'm not sure. Because I thought it was 12 before. 18-14. Yeah, here's the numbers if you need them. So it is 18-14 as we head into the second quarter instead of a... instead of a ball handle. Absolutely. I think the ball should not stick. You need to, you know, pass that ball around. Three seconds or less. Well, good. how about that possession for Bridgeport? That's a good, that's a good possession. Touch it four different hands, Thanks. and then Kanduki finishing that's on the exactly other exactly the way it's supposed to be. Here's EJ. Charlo. Keppo. Keppo getting inside. Nice pass. Off the chest of Charlo. Blocked by... Wow. Blocked by Moncati. Greer, corner, the three. 
off the mark from Keppo. Ball on the floor. Stay with Rock Top. Stay with Rock Top. So here's Keppo. Keppo on the inbound. So I guess we're gonna wait for the shot clock to run down all the way to eight seconds. So we went 12 games in this tournament. Yeah. And still have not evaded the clock issues. <laughs> the dreaded clock issues. It's okay. Listen, for the most part, it's been pretty good. It has. It has. And definitely got cleaner in day two. Absolutely. Definitely. Early on in day one, they the struggles were very real. Listen, man, every, everybody had to shake the cobwebs off. Yeah. Even the refs. Absolutely. There's a shot right there. Good shot. Knocking down the shot right there is Tyler Roberts. Great pass. Inside. That's great defense. Moncati can't finish. Here's EJ Greer driving, stripped on the floor. And it's in the hands of Bridgeport. And there's contact right there. They're going to call a block here on Marco Keppo. Oh, that's my apologies. They're going to call an offensive foul here on Josue Kondugi. Tyler Roberts shooting free throws here. Off the mark on the first. Come on, come on, Tyler, go! Tyler! There we go. Knocks down the second. Greer. Porter for three. Eric Porter drilling it. That's great, great ball movement. Great patience. That's what, that's what I've been waiting for from any team in this tournament. Just be patient. Let the game come to you. Underneath, Charlotte fighting through. Through the trees. Through the trees, Mike. And they're getting the hook on oh, Mayo. Here. On Wi Fi, that's Elijah Lovelace, oh, Lovelace getting called with it. Keppo. Come on, get back, get back. Lovely. They're going to call that a double dribble. Oh, they're calling it a travel. Yep. Okay. All right, some changes for Rock Top. Looks like a mass substitution here. Charlo stays in the game. 
but it'll be Marshall and checking back in. Avin Singh is checked into the game for Rock Top. Brian Archie is back in, Greer stays. Here's Archie. Tough shot, rebounded by Mayok. Santiago, up and off the glass, good. It's a good leak out by Santiago. 26-18. Charlotte. Greer. White 13, block. They're gonna call this foul on Joshua Santiago. And he's had a rough time at it. I mean, he's got a at least three already, right? Uh, 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 uh. So here's EJ Greer. He's going to go to the line here. So Santiago is checked out. They bring back Drew Heinrich. EJ is good on the first. 27-18 in favor of Rocktop here in the second quarter. Five minutes, a little over five minutes to go in the half. And he knocks down the second. Ten-point lead here for Rocktop. They've played a very, very solid half, Mike, so far. Five minutes to go in the, in the second quarter. Let's see how they finish. Here we go. My Oak throws it down. It's fun watching guys like that and make it so easy. He runs the, he runs the floor well, man. For a seven foot three guy, right? Definitely. He moves really good. Mayo getting in the face. Shot. Wow, Archie right over Mayo. He's a D1 talent, Mike. He really is. Heinrich. Shot. Oh, lob there. Oh, boy. Charlo kind of went under Mayoke. I mean, it's very hard not to. Yeah, I, th I think it was. I don't think it was on purpose. No. But, but they're going to call Charlo for a foul here, and Bridgeport will take it out. It was an attempted lob intended for Mayoke. And Sean Davis is going to check in. Kandugi is going to come out. There's Davis for three. Off the mark, rebounded by Greer. How about this shot right here? Marcelin just off the mark. And it'll go back to Bridgeport. Louis Vidal checked in. Mayo. Here's Lovelace. Heinrich. Lovelace at the top, 10 to shoot. Finds Davis in the corner, no good. Heinrich with the rebound, and it finds Lovelace again. Heinrich drives baseline. Good pass. Underneath, Moncati can't finish. And it's in the hands of Rock Top. John Green. Here's EJ Greer. That's a foul, bro. Singh for three. Hey, Bang. Avin Singh knocks it down. Nice shot. And it's going to go to Rock Top. So. It's interesting what Rock Top is doing here. They're still giving their star guys the minutes, but in some of those rotational areas, we're seeing some new faces on the floor for Absolutely. Rock Top. Absolutely. I mean, listen, they played earlier, so they're trying to get guys and keep them fresh. You know what I mean? They're kids, yes, they can play all day, but you still need to give them, give them some opportunity. Archie, off the mark on that one. And it's off Greer's foot. Like I said, you, you can tell you can tell that there's a discrepancy, Mike, in regards to uh, guard talent on either team. Rock Top has better guards 
by far. How about that one, Isaac Moncati, who we've heard a lot about before this game with the tip in. It's a turnover. Moncati inside, fighting inside. Travel. And they're gonna call for a travel. Said Moncati was kind of bouncing on that plant foot. So it's a 10 point lead for Rock Top, 32 22 with 244. And Lovelace picks that one off. He gets up there and Vidal with the foul. Couple of turnovers by, by EJ Greer here. So Elijah Lovelace here at the line with a chance to cut the deficit to underneath double digits. And he misses the first. Knocks down the second. Makes it a nine point game. Archie, nice cross. Archie getting inside, finishing. What did you say before? Through the trees. Through the trees. No fear, Mike, no fear. Well, that's easy. <laughs> Davis to my oak. Greer, driving. And he's gonna get fouled. He, got, he literally got fouled the whole way down court. They got a slot they beat at some point. They're gonna call it on Ja'Shawn Davis. And E.J. Greer is gonna go to the line. E.J. Greer has had a great game so far e. Greer, in this first half. E.J. Greer and Archie, you, it, those are the two catalysts every time. Every time. So Janik Harbeck is checked into the game as Avin Singh will take a seat. And they have the advantage at the guard positions. They really do. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I think I think just, Rock Top. But listen, I, just I think it would be fair to say that Rock Top would have a guard advantage over most of these teams because I think they have three really good guard. Because I, I would count Greer as more of a forward, but if you're talking about guards, when you're looking at Vidal, Keppo, yep. and Archie, absolutely. I mean that's that's a really good set of guards. Absolutely. Mayo. And it is Lob City in Bridgeport. <laughs> My goodness, Moncati on that one too. Keppo. Working. Nobody open. Here's John Green back to Keppo. Underneath. Shot hard back from the corner. No good. Moncati pushing. Heinrich. Up oh, and good. Drew Heinrich has had numerous. Good finishes in this game. That's a nice take. Archie working, gets a screen by John Green. Archie fouled by Mayoke. Can I be honest? I really, of all the point guards He's the best that seen we've seen, seen in this tournament, I'm not sure I would take any of them over Ryan Archie. I would 100% agree. 100% agree. And I think the only one that comes to a close second, I mean, I'd have to look, but I think the only one that comes to a close second as far as a point guard would be Stanisic from Knox. It's fair. I mean, honestly, I think, I think uh, Ryan Archie is my player at the tournament, period. He very well could be. He very well could be. But Rock Top has had a very nice, I mean, listen, they, they've got two losses right now. But this is not a team that looks like they've lost twice. They've shown a lot. They've they have a lot. shown a lot. This is a good basketball team. Oh, oh! My Oak, Moncati, Lovelace for three. Off the mark, rebound, Moncati. And there we go, there's that size. That's where it matters. That's right. Isaac Moncati with the putback. If they, can get the if they can get the shot on the rim, those two can be able to clean it up and make some damage. Archie to Pappas. Heinrich is hurt. Heinrich got hurt. He's wearing that brace on his ankle. It looks like he may have tweaked it again. 
So that's going to have to be a sub. Drew Heinrich's going to come out. They're going to bring in Demi and Vial here to replace Heinrich. Mayoke. Vial. Moncati. The shot from Davis off the mark. It's a foul on Mayoke. Grab this jersey. Now, is it is it unfair to say that rebounding as a seven footer is too you know is too easy, and that excuses like uh, uh, like fouls like that are unnecessary, or is that just not fair because he's dealing with really solid athletes? Well, I mean, rebounding is is really not size related. It's about positioning and how, right. and, and knowing how the ball comes off the rim. Right. You know, just because you're tall doesn't mean that you have great awareness in regards to where the ball is. Right. So, and I don't think that Mayu has a great awareness of that. He's tall, yes, but I don't necessarily believe that he's a natural rebounder. That's not what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Can run the floor, you know, he, he moves really well. Like a gazelle, he can, he can, he can run the floor. But I, I don't think that he has great awareness in regards to rebounding wise. But has other skills. So Janik Harbeck is checked out. And Daniel Charlo will check back in as Jashawn Davis. Now if you see the comparison between Charlo, Charlo's a rebounder. He knows exactly how to get rebounds. Knocks down the first. And Bridgeport kind of coming back in this one. 38-32, 15 seconds left in the half. And a chance to cut the lead to five for Rock Top. And he got it, 38-33. Good looking free throws. Clock ticking. 10 seconds for Archie. This is Archie's shot right here. Working, Can't, has nowhere to go. They're gonna call a foul here. White five, white five. And they got Elijah Lovelace on the foul, and it's gonna send Archie to the line. With 2.3 left on the clock. So Archie with a couple of free throws to see if he can extend the lead. He does, 39-33. Knocks down the second. And here's the inbound. So that's the end of the first half. Right there, no shot on the inbound. So it's 40 to 33. And with possession of the ball here, for the people just joining us, it is Rock Top in black. Travel. And there's going to be a travel on John Green. Rock Top in the black and Bridgeport in white. And so far what we've seen is it's been all about size for Bridgeport, but that's pretty much been it for them right now. Absolutely. They have to get better play out of their guards. Moncati. Vial. And they're going to keep it right here with a foul on John Green. Hands up, hands up, hands up, watch four. How about Mokati for three? Off the mark, rebound Santiago. There's Vial, Lovelace. Oh my goodness. That was quite potentially rim rattling. Green, nice rebound over there by Keppo. 
Marcelin inside, fouled. And they're gonna call a blocking foul here. And looks like both guys are okay. Lovelace was on the floor as well as Mayoke. And Elijah Lovelace is called for the foul, so Sheldon Marcelin will head to the free throw line. Knocks down the first. John Green is checked out, and Daniel Charlow will take his place. Marshallin misses the second. Rebound by Mayok. And Bridgeport moving. And that's going to be a kick ball on Keppo. About a minute in. Looking at an eight point lead here for Rock Top. Leal. Up top, Mayo dribbling, driving to the rim. And they're going to call a foul here on Charlo, and he's hurt. He's limping badly. Charlo took a shot there by Mayo. He can't, he's not putting much weight on that leg. Like yeah, that. he's really struggling. He can't. So, Janik Harbeck will check in for Charlo as he takes a seat. Hopefully, he's okay. Lovelace for three. Bang from the corner. There's Elijah Lovelace getting it going here for Bridgeport. They're going to need that. They're going to need that. Here's EJ Greer. Foul. They're going to call a jump ball here. And it's going to go by way of Bridgeport. That's a good defensive play by Damian Vial right there. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> this rock top coach is funny. He's very sarcastic. Nice pass. Moncati with the left hand, throwing it down. Here comes Bridgeport. Keppo. Harbeck. Looking for something. Here's Archie. Baseline. Foul. Archie is not afraid to contest those Giants. I mean, that really is a tall task, Barry. I mean, for Ryan Archie, who's a 6'1 guard, you know, could be considered um, a little um, undersized. undersized. Absolutely. And he's going up against Mayok, who's 7'3", Literally and Moncati, who's 6'10". Yeah. I mean, these are big guys. And not just big, but athletic. Absolutely. But he is a player that it fears no one. Fears no one. And that's the type of mentality that you need to be a great player. Archie drills the second. 43-38. Lovelace, Mayoke, straight line, Santiago can't finish but gets it on the putback. There's Joshua Santiago finishing the bucket. Got a three point game here, Mike, 43-40. We sure do. EJ working. Archie thought about it. Now he's putting it up. Off the mark, Mayok with the rebound. Lovelace weaves through. Underneath, Vial with a nice finish. A good pass. Damian Vial underneath. 43-42, Rocktop with a one-point lead here with five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Greer. There's a foul right here. Got my oak on the foul. White school. Handset. Possession. That's math oak, my oak. Janik Harbeck is checked out for Lewis Vidal. And my oak will check out. And we will see Josue Kandugi coming in. Good defense. Vial called for the foul on Archie. Oh, 
So here's Greer taking it out. Here's Archie. And nice friendly roll from the corner for Marco Keppo. Kind of frustrated. And there's the foul. Lovelace was a little fa uh, frustrated on that play. Felt like he was getting hit with no call. So that's Sheldon Marcelin who's getting called for the foul there. Drew Heinrich checks back in. Looks like his ankle is fine. He heard it before. Elijah Lovelace will take a seat. Santiago. There's Kandugi and he's fouled hard by Archie. Good hard foul. So Josue Kandugi will head to the line. The six foot five forward. Uh, another player for Bridgeport from Congo. Misses the first. And he's off on both. But how about that? Moncati with the putback. Keppo. And it's going to be right here. That's Santiago. He's got to be getting close. Santiago's had a rough day. Keppo, no good. Rebounded Kandugi. Here's Heinrich. And a bad pass there by Kandugi. It was intended out there for Santiago. And it is going to go the other way. It's going to go by way of Rock Top. It's a 46 44 game. Vial tips it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rock Top here. Hermes Pappas checks in. And Ryan Archie will check out. Keppo. Pappas. Hoist up a three. Santiago. And Pappas making the effort to block the shot. Gets called for the foul, though. Moncati, Vial, down to Kandugi, double team. Moncati's jump shot from the free throw line is pure. And we're tied, 46-46, Barry Grant Jr. Absolutely, just like that. With all their struggles in the first, in the first half, we're, we're tied. Vidal Marcelin dumps it away and it's gonna go by way of Bridgeport. And Eric Porter will check in. Sheldon Marcelin will take a seat. Rock Top has gone away what has worked for them in the first half a little bit. Oh. They call a walk here, Jose Kandugi. So Rock Top will get it right back. Just over three minutes. Remaining here in the third, Keppo, Vidal, Pappas. Pass for Porter is picked off by Heinrich, and he's fouled hard on the way to the basket by Porter. It's a hard foul. So this is Drew Heinrich. He'll go to the free throw line. 6'2 guard, senior from Bridgeport Prep. He's from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Uh, 
knocks down the first rope. And wouldn't you know it, Ryan Archie back in the game. They need him right now. Knocks down that free throw. And that gives Bridgeport a 48-46 lead. Archie trying to make something happen here. DJ Greer, Porter, Keppo, three. Off the mark, rebound, Moncati. Vial, good pass Santiago, runs into Greer. No, board, Keppo, bringing it back. Oh. Nice spin move. Keppo with it, able to finish the play despite losing the ball. Just has a high motor, Mike. 48-48 with just over two minutes to play. And a foul here on Lewis Vidal. Miss on the free throw. Here's Archie. Driving in and fouled. He has been going at Mayoke all game. Can't be denied, Mike. He just, he just won't be denied. I think you're actually in love with Ryan Archie. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No? No. Not in love? No. But you like him a lot, don't you? A great player. He is a great player. So here's Ryan Archie, Clinton, Maryland native. Knocks down the first free throw. Charlo checks in for Eric Porter. Mayok pulls down the rebound off the miss. Here's Archie. Tater over Mayok. Greer oh, with shot. the putback. Nice play by EJ Greer. Heinrich. So it's going to go by way of Rock Top. But let me tell you something. Drew Heinrich has shown some craftiness in this game. Yeah, he has some. He has some uh, escapability. Keppo. Vidal. The pass. Underneath, Charlo is money from underneath the basket. Here's EJ, driving in and fouled, this time by Heinrich. So it'll be EJ Greer heading to the line. And Bridgeport will take a timeout here with a 53 to 48 rock top lead. Greer makes the first. Lovelace. Elijah, Lovelace, good shot, just short. Keppo bringing it back, here's Charlo. Hands it off to Greer. Gets in there and they're gonna call a travel here on EJ Greer. Thirty-five seconds. There it is. Bravo. 
And they're gonna call travel here, this time on Ken Doogie. Just one extra step it looked like on that one. Yeah. Had a hop and then they want to take an extra step after the hop, you can't do that. Keppo. Rydell. Underneath Charlo against two big bodies, foul. fighting through and he got Daniel fouled. Charlo. And he got fouled. Santiago Heinrich driving, working. Outside, it's Lovelace. Dump, Ken Doogie, and I think he got it off. And they did. So it looks like it is the primary five for Rock Top, which is Archie, Greer, Keppo, Vidal, and Charlo on the floor. Greer. Archie for three. Off the mark. Looked like he almost second guessed that shot, Barry. Probably was thinking about another, you know, quality shot that he could probably get. I got. So Marco Keppo gets called for the foul. And we are already getting free throws here. It is Isaac Moncati at the line. This is and looks like another foul. But this time it's on Ryan Archie and Moncati is going to go back to the line. So here's Moncati. Off the mark on the first. Just 26 seconds into the fourth quarter here. Knocks down the second. Makes it 57 51. Here's Archie. Keppo from the corner. Off the mark. Rebounded Charlo. Archie. EJ driving inside, can't finish through the contact. Tough shot, tough shot. Keppo. Right at my oak. And nothing doing here. Heinrich pushing. And Moncati finishing on that one. Makes it 57-53, and it's a four-point game. Archie for three, off the front iron, oh and Archie's down. Heinrich, and one. The foul on Greer, and Heinrich's gonna go to the line. And here on the other end, it's Ryan Archie. He's holding his ankle. Are you going to do it? My timeout so my player can get off the court? He has to do it. Thank you. So Ryan Archie. So Archie looks to be okay, but he's forced to sit out for a play. He's not happy that he hasn't come out. Eirik has played a really good second half. He has. Like I said, he shows a lot of craftiness. So Janik Harbeck is checking in. 57-55. And he's off the mark on the free throw, but the offensive board, and it goes back to Heinrich. And there's another foul on Rocktop here. 
And they're going to call it on Marco Keppo. Yeah, Rock Top is getting a bit, they're getting a bit sloppy right now, especially, especially with the fouls. It's okay to be aggressive, but when you're overly aggressive and you're committing fouls, you may have to ease back a bit. Right. Knocks down the free throw. 57-56, it's a one-point game. Ryan Archie is checked in and Keppo will step out. Box out, box out, Lou. It is 57-57 now. Archie right at Mayoke that time with the block. Greer off the mark. Archie, mid-range, no good. And they're gonna call Elijah Lovelace here for the foul. Charlo makes the first. Knocks down the second. 59-57 Rock Top here with six minutes to go. Mayoke. Here's Vial. Left hand, no good. Charlo with the rebound. Here's Archie. Archie with a nice floater right over Mayoke. And you're shaking your head like, man, oh, man. This kid is uber talented, man. Call call jump ball. Vidal got hands on the basketball there. Rolled his ankle and still is in the game. Gutting it out, toughing it out. Go get it, go get it. Moncati underneath, Mayoke can't stop that as he throws it down. Hey, he's definitely too deep at that point. Vidal from the corner, good. <laughs> Lewis Vidal. Greg Fall is 3.0. They'll stay with Bridgeport as Harbeck knocked it out. Lovelace on the inbound. Lovelace. Vial, Moncati, Heinrich for three. Bang! Drew Heinrich trails it. He's had an amazing second half. Call foul here on Isaac Moncati. And this is going to send EJ Greer to the line for two. Three point game. 65-62 in favor of Rock Top. If you're just joining us, Rock Top in the black, Bridgeport in the white. And Greer misses the second, but the offensive rebound, and they're gonna oh. travel here on Vidal. Didn't agree with that one? It's a bit of a push, I think. A great hustle, great hustle to get that ball back there. Here's Vial. Archie tipped it away into the hands of Greer. He drives, left hand, nice finish nice by E.J. Move. Greer. We haven't seen much of that in this tournament from him, but he has the ability. Greer can really play. Yeah. He's a good player. He has the ability to get to the rim, but he likes to settle for the shot. I mean, it's a nice shot, but at some point you got to mix it up a little bit too. 
425 remaining in the fourth. Still anybody's game here, and Elijah Lovelace is going to go to the line here for Bridgeport. Down five, 67-62. It's a bit of a foul fest right now, Mike. It is. It really is. Each team with 10 team fouls. Both teams in the double bonus. Fidel checks out. Keppo checks in. And Lovelace misses the second. Here's Archie. It's a lot of trapping. There's a lot of fast pace. Not a lot of sets going on right now, it looks like. Keppo pump fakes. Archie for three. Off the mark. Mayok with the rebound. Moncati. Vial, here we go. Driving. Up and fouled this time by Charlo. Charlo definitely bumped him on the way up. Definitely did. So Damian Vial will head to the line. Got it. Coach Makes was, the first. Coach was not happy about that foul because, you know, as Charlotte, you can be able to lead him to the basket and you can contest that shot. So definitely don't want to bail out the guard. Here's Harbeck for three. Off the mark. Greer, up and in. They wanted a foul on Greer, what'd you think? You think he got fouled on the way up? Uh, I think you could let that go. Good defense. Here's Greer, wow. up and no good. This time he got fouled. Man, EJ Greer he, coming alive in this game. He is showing some aggression right now, Mike. And they need it. They need it. Did you hear that? What's he going to Kansas next year? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, man. This rock top coach is killing me. He's funny. Very entertaining. There's no way you can keep this game the game. Who's the last round? Who was the last round? The last foul there was on Vial, so Greer knocks down both free throws. It's 71-65. Makati, Heinrich, Lovelace. Makati for three, just off the mark. That would have been a big make right there for Isaac Makati. Absolutely. Rock Top's going to call timeout here. 71 to 65 with 319 left in the game. Inbound to Archie. They're gonna call the foul here on Damian Fial. Too aggressive, man. You know you're in the double bonus. You have to give him some space. Following him in that situation does not make any sense. And here comes Heinrich. So Damian Vial has fouled out. I'm surprised he's our first with right. the amount of fouls right now. Listen, I'm they've, surprised. They've done a great job avoiding that, right? Avoiding the foul outs. Archie misses the first. Drew Heinrich was checked in for Vial. And Mayoke pulls it down as Archie misses both. That's not common for him right Definitely now. Not. Heinrich, Santiago, Moncati. Heinrich driving, left hand, good. Drew Heinrich with a nice little runner. 71-67, Greer pulls up for two. How about that for an answer from EJ Greer? He wants to close this game, you can see it. Santiago, Heinrich, again, the lob, miss for Mayok, back outside, Santiago, dumps it off, Moncati, easy with the left hand. 73 to 69, Archie, nice dump, Charlo, 
goes up with it, and they right. call the travel on Daniel Charlo. Yeah, he got himself in trouble getting under the basket. At that point, it's, it's, it's no man's land at that point, especially, especially amongst the trees. It's not a foul. Lovelace, Heinrich, Santiago, Heinrich, a good look from three, off the mark, Santiago back with it, goes up, off the mark and rebounded by Greer. Marcelin drives in, blocked by Myok. Heinrich, wide open for three, off the mark. Here's EJ Greer. At this point, Rock Top does not need to play so frantic. They can slow it down a bit. They definitely can. Up two possessions here with a minute and a half to play. Get a quality shot hit. And it looks like they're slowing it down. Heinrich is covering Greer. Charlo there for a screen. Greer fouled on the way up. And that is Mathok Mayok with the foul and foul out so Mayok so Mayok has fouled out and I mean that's a severe disadvantage for Bridgeport now yes it is so they bring in Josue Kandugi to replace him. So there still is a bit of a size advantage for Bridgeport, but not nearly as much now with Mayock out of the game. Absolutely, now you can be able to attack more. Space them out a bit, attack the rim and attack the angles. Greer knocks it down, 75-69. He's had a big fourth quarter. He's had a big game. Yeah. Santiago. Lovelace dumps it underneath. How about that finish from Kandugi? 75-71, a nice offensive possession right there with a nice finish by Josue Kandugi. Harbeck, there's Greer. Archie, floater, good. Ryan Archie with a nice shot. Santiago. Kendugi. Santiago fading away. No good. Rebound. Back up. No. Yeah, the follow through. It's going to be off on EJ Greer. So it will stay with Bridgeport. 37 seconds left. They're down six. They kind of need threes here, don't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rock Top calls timeout. So here we go. Bridgeport inbounding. You gotta get a shot up. There's the three. Shot. Nice shot there by Moncati. That's a big shot. Big shot. Archie. This is big here. They have the foul. 20 seconds. They're looking. They, and they, they call timeout. Rock Top with a timeout. They blew a lot of time just now, Mike. 18 seconds. It's 77 74. That's great strategy by Coach. They got all their good free throw shooters in the game. So they call foul here on Deshaun Davis. And Santiago was claiming that he had hands on the ball. He wanted it to be a jump. But it's gonna send EJ Greer to the free throw line here with 15 on the clock. And knocks down the first. Big shot. 78-74, it's back to a two possession game. And it's gonna to be tough for Bridgeport at this point. Knocks down both. And Rock Top is gonna to make some changes. Hardback is checked out. Keppo is checked out. They're bringing in some size. Charlo and John Green both on the floor. 
Here we go, Lovelace. Davis, underneath, Moncati for three from the corner, off the mark, rebound, and there we have the foul with two and a half seconds left with Charlo having the rebound on Joshua Santiago. He'll go to the line for two more, and Rock Top Academy, in their third game of the tournament, grab their first win. They should feel very, very happy about this win. They played hard, they deserved it. They played an excellent game from start to finish. Ryan Archie, magnificent. EJ Greer, really, really good. Keppo played well. They got contributions from everybody in this game. Charlo makes the second, it's 80-74. And in the final seconds, the hoist. And off the mark, and that'll do it. Rock Top taking an 80 to 74 win over Bridgeport Prep to close out this Gotham Hoops tournament.